saw in, you, you forgot, right? I'm in the Rayborn building. Who is present? Sheila Jackson Lee from Texas, right? John Conyers, Illinois. Of Detroit? Jesse Jackson Jr. from the House of Appropriation. Our most beloved President Bush. <laughs> no, we have to give him credit. And no African government ever given me the privilege to practice herbology. Bush did. Bush appropriated five billion dollars to fight AIDS in Africa, right? And the African government didn't appropriate one dime. They didn't want their brother to do it for free. So Bush, Bush stands out way above there. Bush gave five billion dollars and Jesse Jackson Jr. is there. So when I go to the podium and I say, fellas, you all don't have to look for the cure of AIDS anymore. Here it is. Jesse Jackson Jr. did this. I said, I'm going to talk about this. I have to write about this in my book. Because you, not me, but you and I believe in the leaders. We hope that they could do something, right? Well, they had a chance. So, 17 African ambassadors. Only one came to me from Mali. The only man came to me and said, Dr. Sebi, I, uh, I have to respect your position. And I appreciate your position. You have proven that you cure AIDS, and I would like for you to go to Mali. But that's not the country I was talking about previously. He just presented himself that day. But Jesse Jackson Jr. didn't tell you that I cure AIDS, right? He didn't tell his daddy either, isn't it? And Ms. Sheila Jackson Lee didn't talk about it, right? And so did John Conyers. So who gives a damn? You see? But that's good. That's good. We don't need leaders, isn't it? So we're going to do it. Because we're doing it now. Because those black women I'm talking about, there's one sitting there. They are going to tell the world we can raise. But last night, Clinton and Sanjay Gupta <laughs> is on CNN talking about the end of AIDS. How about the end of sickle cell? How about the end of lupus? How about the end of herpes? How about the end of blindness? They, don't, they, they didn't find those, but they find the end of AIDS. How is that possible? Are we going to buy that too? Are we going to let them continue to say that there is no cure for AIDS when your brother is curing it? So we are guilty. We are the ones that's guilty, not the leaders, because they're sick. All the leaders are sick. You can look at them and tell they're sick. <laughs> so we have to forget about the leaders, right? <laughs>